Good morning my darlings, welcome to a new vlog. Today is bank holiday Monday and Charlie and I have got a fun morning activity planned. Basically there is a certain hill <laughs> in our village which has the most incredible views but it's owned um, by a private landowner and this landowner opens up his fields and his hills for one day a year for a walk and basically the whole village <laughs> goes on this walk and then it ends in the village hall with cakes and teas and coffees so that is what is going on this morning it's a cloudy day but it's not raining so actually the perfect perfect day for a walk and then when we get back we are going to do a lot of gardening because we are ready to plant a lot of the veg in the raised beds um, and actually it won't be in this vlog, it might not even be in the next one, but this time next week the raised beds, or sorry, the entire kitchen garden project should be completed. Nicholson's reckon that the next week is going to be the last week, which is very exciting. Charlie and I were saying yesterday um, that it's actually the biggest project that we've done at the house. It has by far been the longest project. They've been here... If they complete next week, it will have been a nine week long project, which is pretty big <clears throat> in the scheme of house renovations. You know, that's a fairly small size project, but everything that we've done here, it's the biggest. <laughs> so it's going to be really, really satisfying when that's done. In the week next week as well, we've got Andrew back here painting, repainting our living room after the um, ceiling incident. But anyway, that's uh, <laughs> that's what's going on. I've got on, um, I wasn't sure how warm or chilly it would be, so I've got on my thermal sweaty betty leggings with the fleece line. I'm gonna pop on my Le Chameau leather boots. This is just an old um, jumper from Reese. I've got a thermal underneath, of course. My super old barber jacket, my Fendi dog walking bag, and most importantly, my sausage dog Christmas jumper socks. just made it back home again from the walk. It was a three hour long walk across three of the hills in the village. I think um, we figured out that it was around 11 kilometers and that doesn't sound like that much, but it was on quite challenging terrain, let's say. So my legs are aching a lot, but it was a really, really great way to spend the morning. Um, about a third into the walk, we met a couple and the guy, uh, Charlie had actually already been WhatsApping as he's the captain of our villages or the nearest town's rugby club. So it was really nice to have some company chatting with them um, and meeting fellow people our age in the village for the rest of the walk. We were absolutely exhausted by the end of it, um, but we knew that there was a paddock farm burger waiting for us at the end. We could see the smoke from the barbecues, we could smell the burgers, and just our luck, <laughs> we got to the front of the queue and three people before us, they announced that they had run out of burgers. I've not been this gutted in a long time, still very, very annoyed about it right now. So we've come back home, we're gonna have some coffee and some cake, and then we're gonna spend the rest of the afternoon in the garden. It's uh, very dorky, but I am so excited to plant <laughs> my vegetable beds. I think, tragically however, um, I've lost a few of my runner beans and climbing beans to the frosts. I stupidly left them out, literally typical, the day that we laid them all out in the last vlog, you'll have seen that, 
that night there was a frost. Most things were okay. The Mange 2 have actually been attacked by pigeons. They've not touched the peas, just the Mange 2. So I need to um, plant some more Mange 2 and um, beans. Hopefully we're not too late. Not the Mange 2. I know. So I'm gonna do a tiny bit of planting. Hopefully they'll catch up. I mean, we're a little bit late for planting things like that, but I'm gonna give it a go. And then we're gonna do a lot of planting. But first, coffee and cake. Oh, oh you're a lion. You're a lion. Oh, Dexy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I didn't do too many time lapses because I didn't want you guys to be very bored of <laughs> seeing me planting in fast motion. But about three hours later and everything is now planted. Obviously there's still plenty of gaps for other bits and bobs which are not quite ready to come out. So this is the strawberry corner and they are protected from birds or butterflies with these cages. I'm on the lookout for some more attractive cages and maybe some with a bit more height as well. So if anyone has any recommendations, let me know. The first thing that I did was the sweet peas on this obelisk in the middle, and then I've put some little branches on the inside just to support, and um, they might grow up those as well as they get a little bit taller. Raspberry bush here just in front. We still have the top layer of compost coming, so you won't be able to see the pipes when that arrives. And that'll also just help to provide a little bit of nutrients for the bits we planted today. I don't have my support for the Mange 2 yet, but they have been nibbled by the pigeons. So I've got a little cage on there and I did plant some more as well. Over here, my frost bitten runner beans. Again, I've planted some more seeds of these. So in case these die, then I've definitely got a backup. And then in this bed, we've got the artichoke, we've got horseradish, and then on the far left, we have got rhubarb. Didn't do anything new in the herb bed, but this is where most of the action took place. Not sure if we're gonna be turfing this area once all this is gone, or if we're going to seed it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be amazing when this area <laughs> looks tidy and lovely again. So this bed here is very much the salad bed. We've got everything from lettuce leaves to red lettuce. We've got my grown from seed red oak lettuce. And then down under the cloches, we've got more red oak lettuce and some pak choy. And then that little patch over there is my rocket. Um, and the broad beans are going to go along the end there, but again, I'm just waiting for the support before I grow them out. And I'll also direct sow some broad bean seeds. So it's all coming together really nicely. I'm not going to lie, I'm absolutely exhausted, so I think I'm going to head inside and have a little bit of a pamper. is commencing with a gold face mask hopefully to bring some wonderful radiance to my skin I was about to run the bath but I think I can hear Charlie pottering, pot pottering away in the kitchen 
Um, and we're just having a really nice uh, veggie pasta dish for dinner this evening because we are feeling very, very lazy. Haven't had a roast this weekend and we're approaching the end of roast season. So uh, definitely need to have one next weekend. But we've got the wild garlic pesto that I made a couple of vlogs ago. I'm probably gonna go over the next few days to pick some more and I'm going to bulk make it and freeze it as per a lot of you guys, your suggestions. But yeah, we're just gonna do wild pesto pasta with some extra veggies chucked in. And then when I've eaten, I'm gonna run the bath and I'm gonna watch a couple of episodes of Selling Sunset in the tub. And then I'm gonna pop my tan on for the week because a tan just always makes me feel a million times better. Huh? I said I'm gonna have a bath after this. Okay, so I've just finished up at Pilates, crunch, crunch, crunch of gravel. And I've just noticed Lala's car over there as well. I think she's come for a bluebell walk that was meeting here today. Um, but I'm just gonna go and check out the seedlings in the garden center. These are rather lovely, these little low pots. Still no seedlings in here. I hope they've not decided to abandon the seedlings this year because that was such a good purchase last year, all those trees. <laughs> Hello again my darlings. Well as you might be able to see <laughs> I forgot to bring my makeup bag with me to my Pilates which normally is not an issue. Normally I just come straight home but actually today I had a meeting at Dalesford after my class which was great um, but I just went with a fresh face instead of having any makeup on. I also had took the opportunity to try some of the Bamford face creams because I didn't have any of my moisturizers with me. Uh, so yes, feeling a little bit casual, but we've got some uh, work going on in the house today as we very often do. And I do find it quite hard to get stuff done when there's stuff at the house. So I've taken that as my excuse to um, have a little bit of a morning gallivanting. So I had my meeting at Dalesford, had breakfast there, did my usual little trot around at the market garden center trot around the garden centre and um, the store. I didn't buy anything apart from the usual salads. Um, but yeah, I was surprised that they didn't have the seedlings in the greenhouse and I'm pretty sure they did have them this time last year. So I hope they're still gonna do them because it's very convenient. I thought they were very well priced and they grew really well. But I know they do have seedlings here at Burford. I don't actually need any. Um, <laughs> but I love to look at seedlings and I do also need a few more supports and just little bits and bobs um, to hopefully protect my mojtu and my brassicas from being attacked by pigeons so I thought I would do that. We're going to have a little bit of rain this week and then I think it's going to be a really lovely sunny weekend so I'll definitely be doing more gardening at the weekend so now's a good time to stock up on the essentials so uh yeah let's go and check it out it's super busy i've actually really struggled to park here today i've had to go into the overflow car park my goodness so i think it's going to be busy inside <laughs> Is my loot so far a couple of organic bug defense sprays as a couple of our euphorbias so i've got some little white bugs on them uh, which we want to get rid of and then just a lovely little selection oh that is loud road noise a little selection of pretty white flowers which i'm just going to pop in some pots around the house uh, so this one is called an arabis a little treasure and this really beautiful one is a saxy fraga Never heard of either of these before, but I thought they'd look really beautiful in little pots. Um, and then this one I think is a Wisley, Namisha Wisley Vanilla. I thought they were the most beautiful little flowers. And this one looks a little bit Alpine-esque. And it's called an Iberis Candy Fluff. <laughs> so they're the blooms that I've picked up so far. I've only got 
about an eighth of the way around the garden centre so far. I have found some sweet pea seedlings, so I might pick up just one tray of those. Uh, and then I've also grabbed, they're always very expensive, but some faux hydrangeas for switching around the blooms in my dressing room. This is the section I was hoping to find, all of the little veg seedlings. Now, if anyone is looking to grow lettuce for the first time, I'd highly recommend these little trays because they perform so, so well. At least they did in my garden last year. And there's so many different kinds. Well, my trolley has become rather full. Perhaps it's time that I uh, head to the till. And we haven't even got to the inside bit yet with all the fun tools. All I really need, oops, oh my gosh. I would fail my driving test if I had to do one on the trolleys. Hello again, darlings. I feel like I've been quite rubbish at, um, oh my gosh. Literally case in point, <laughs> rubbish at talking to the camera today. I feel like today is just not one of those days when I'm meant to be vlogging. I don't know, forgetting my makeup. And then, um, yeah, it's just, been, it's just been the Mondayest Tuesday ever, which always happens after bank holiday. It took me until 4.30 p.m. to get my makeup on. And um, today's actually the first day wearing my dress from Parterre, which is Julia Engel's brand. And you guys know that I am obsessed with her. She is a Charleston based um, blogger. I followed her for probably like eight years. I think she was the first blogger that I followed. You'll see in all of my personal style videos, I always refer to her as um, the influencer that I look to for style. And I've wanted to buy from her brand for a long time. I, oh my goodness. Yes, tried to buy some of the pieces when we were in Charleston, um, but timing wise for delivery it just didn't work out. I think this dress um, got sent to the wrong place. It was meant to have arrived about three weeks ago, but it finally arrived with me at the weekend. My first time wearing it today and I have got two severe makeup stains on it. I've got mascara, can you see that? Mascara on the sleeve, foundation on the dress. What an absolute plonker I am. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and whack some Vanish soap on the dress in the hope that I can salvage it. Sorry, I feel like this was two minutes of me complaining. Might cut this out of the vlog. <laughs> so let's do a little Burford Garden Company haul and it's a good one. Lots of lovely plants. There were lots more plants in since the last time that I went. Last time the haul was very much uh, garden tool focused, whereas this time we have lots of lovely blooms, both real and faux. So I did pick up a few of the faux hydrangeas, which I'm going to display, which I'll display up in the dressing room. And then so many lovely blooms definitely went for a white and green theme, as you can see. Some of these I might plant in flower beds and some of them I might plant up in some of these lovely pots. So I picked up a few of these terracotta pots which have got the scallop design on them. I did get a few last time as well, I think they are so lovely. This will grow into a really beautiful trailing plant, uh, so I thought that would be especially lovely in a pot in my dressing room. This would be a great one in a border, could turn into this beautiful big bush. And then some of the other little blooms that I showed you earlier. They also had some pre-made up pots, which I thought were actually really good value. So I might leave some up on the table here. Um, this, for example, was £40. And the hydrangea by itself, I think, is like 37 or something, if not 40 I'm sure I saw hydrangeas this big. Just the hydrangea for £40. And this was 40 for the hydrangea. And this type is actually called Runaway Bride and the pots, and then a few little salad leaves, carrots, some mange too, because sadly mine have so far all been eaten, very, very sadly, some pink sweet peas and French beans to replace my frostbitten ones. And then these two big fabulous cages, which are going to be fantastic for protecting against uh, hungry birds, let's say. So let's take these down to the kitchen garden. We can also have a little look at the progress. Oh wow, it's actually roped off, so I can't go in there yet. 
Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> so we have got the flagstone floor in my greenhouse. I love that they chose this one that's already covered in moss as the first one that you step onto. They've done a really good job with the shape and the layout in here. I don't think we've got the, um, what you might call it? What do you call it, that bit that goes in between the grouting? The grouting's not done yet, but I can see that they've laid the cement. And then you'll notice there is a gap around the edges. That's because we're going to have gravel on the very edges, which will help with drainage. Oh my goodness, that just looks amazing. And I love how it contrasts against the honey-colored Haunton stone. This is why gardeners fear frosts so much. This is how sad my climbing beans are looking since I left them out, stupidly, stupidly, stupidly left them out on that frosty night. How silly of me. And I was only positioning them as well. I didn't even need to bring them out. So annoying. Um, but that is why I have bought some replacements. I've also planted some more, which I think you guys would have seen yesterday. I'm getting lost with my vlogs. Uh, so yes, won't be um, leaving them out this early in future years. And then Monge 2 are currently recovering from their pigeon attack under this cage here. But they do like to climb, so these will be much better. I'll pop this just on top of my peas for now. And they're already galvanized and going rusty. I purposely chose the slightly old looking ones. And actually they're quite camouflaged because they're going brown. Again, we're gonna put some compost on top of the piping. When's that coming? Compost for the top. Uh, any day now. Great. Oh, it's trashed you with stepping stones, darling. A small detail that's gone in today is a flagstone base underneath the um, hose pipe. I was actually listening to a Gardener's World podcast and they are saying that we have to try and um, decrease our reliance on outdoor taps. 100%. Um, but it's easier said than done. We're going to have water butt over there, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and also by mulching the beds, it really helps to retain the moisture. For sure. And we will try to, and obviously hopefully have more rain. But obviously at the moment, it's a prime example. We've not had rain for like three weeks. It's not rain for, I think, properly rain is over a month. Like proper wow. rain. Don't think of drought in the UK, um, do you? We have, we have had some. a bit of an issue where this bird is just <gasps> loving all the worms. Stop eating oh, my worms. Bird. Yeah, Poor wormies. Ducks, really. And this is an exciting... Um... And just to be clear, this is this is good because it's all just self-contained. Yeah. So obviously it uses electricity, but other than that, it's self-contained. That's so lovely. So How we've got nice a, little, a little step inside. So if we wanted to put any pond plants up on there, that well, it's is also, so lovely. The reason that stone's there, it covers the pump. Ah. But also, they explained, if you didn't have that there, that would be a lot noisier. Right. It softens the fall. It's a lovely noise. Great. That's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. This and I is think fantastic. birds are probably use this as a bit of a bird bath. Little bird bath. I think perhaps we do need a couple of pond plants, but let's not rush. Yeah, I noticed at Dalesford I took a picture, they just have a couple in one corner and it looks really nice. Yeah, I think maybe on that side, just mm -hmm. some greenery. Mm -hmm. But um I don't think I want to plant a climber up the post anymore. I think I like seeing it ruggedly like that, don't you? Yeah, we'll see how it looks when we've got some bushes behind it. We're obviously going to have stuff growing up here as well. Yeah. Have you seen this of the lights? We'll be able to show people later. Mm. So these are the lights that are movable, so they'll get moved around the beds. Mm -hmm. They're quite modern looking, but obviously you won't see them when there's stuff in the beds. Yeah. Because they'll get hidden. So I think the idea is they won't be on the here. They'll probably be within the middle of the bed just to give a bit of a glow. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then behind here we have the spot for the tree. Oh, great. Um, which Spot is just here, which we can also move around depending on where we want it because it's got a spike on it. And how do we turn them on and off? Well, this is the cool bit. And then <laughs> come up here and we have, you wouldn't even see these, and they're just going to lightly glow the path. And these are all from Nicholson's own brand, Rosara. Oh my gosh. Look, so he's cut that in, that's why there's all that mess. Wow. Um, antique brass. There's one there and one here, so it just glows that little bit for the footpath. So can we bury all of this stuff now? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we're not going to. I believe he's going to bury it all. Okay, great. Um, but obviously he said, he did say, just to double check, you're not going to be going around with big spades and stuff, but of course no, we're not. No, so. these are going to be no dig beds. Exactly. So that does need burying more of.
Okay, we've got the 6 p.m. church bells in the background, but this is what I have just been doing. I've potted up one, two, three, four, five pots with the blooms that I got at the garden center today. So this is the only pot that's not uh, one flower. So I potted up, gosh, I've already forgotten the names of these, but this beautiful flower, and then two of the little um, minis, and these are Upright Elysium White. So they are potentially, these are potentially gonna get bigger and grow, which would be wonderful. And then this here is going to grow little white flowers as well, and it should be a trailer. So, sorry if you can hear Dickens scratching in the background. We're not letting him out because he keeps disappearing into that corner to see his friend next door. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was really nice, especially with this low wide pot to do a few different blooms in there. Everything else, is a single pot so that looks really lovely um, i planted this one in um, the table tabletop terracotta pot which lives on the patio table to replace the old rosemary which is going to go in the herb bed and then these two over here again they just look absolutely lovely in the old terracotta pots and the good thing is these last so much longer than a bunch of flowers i mean i love a bunch of flowers but i think that was six pound fifty that was like eight pound fifty without the um, pots and they last so much longer and I think they look so lovely. I think potentially for our wedding I might do loads of pots and then we'll be able to reuse the flowers instead of going crazy on cut flowers which does seem like such a waste doesn't it? So yeah let me know what you guys think and I'm going to give these a really good water and then decide where they're going to live in the house. Good morning my darlings it's now Wednesday morning. I feel like yesterday I was just in such a weird, <laughs> like, scatty mindset. So if that came across on the vlog, I do apologise. Uh, today I'm feeling much better. You'll be pleased to know. A little bit more with it. So today I'm heading into London. I've actually only got one meeting. I've got a lunchtime meeting. Maybe dropping in to a kind of press day type event. Um, and then I've got a really lovely dinner with the wedding edition, which is a bridal website and kind of social hub online, digital hub for all things bridal. So at the moment I am planning my outfit. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this outfit all day or if I'm going to get changed um, after my things that I'm doing in the day ready for ready for the dinner, not too sure what I'm going to do. If I do wear the outfit all day, I'd definitely rather be overdressed for my meetings and then perfectly dressed for dinner. I'd rather that than be well dressed <laughs> for my meetings and then underdressed for dinner. I would always rather be overdressed than underdressed. So, um, with that in mind, I'm going to show you a few different outfit options, one, two, three, four different options. You guys have seen these all before, I've not got anything new, um, I've got plenty of lovely bits to choose from in my own wardrobe. So first of all, and also, when I'm trying things on, when I'm trying to put together an outfit for a special event, when I have a tan, I always feel like I feel so much more confident in my clothing, I personally feel that everything looks better on me when I have got a little bit of a glow to the skin. So I popped on my Vita Liberata two days ago, I just applied some body lotion this morning um, to keep it topped up, I'll just keep applying body lotion now for the next week or so. I am going to bring <laughs> my body blur with me, I'm going to bring this with me and apply some of this. If I wear this just on my shoulders and on my arms or if I wear a shorter dress, I'll just pop some on my legs before the dinner and it'll just give me the most beautiful glow to the skin, like a little bit of gorgeous body makeup. Um, but we've got the perfect base tan and yeah, it looks fantastic. So lovely and natural. So this is first outfit option. It is a dress from Karen Millen. I think I've definitely, if not shown you this dress before, I've definitely shown you others with this um, fabric. To be honest, everything goes with my raffia accessories, my lovely <clears throat> Valentino bag. And I was on Netta Porter last night and they have released the rock stud heels. As in this style that I'm just absolutely obsessed with, the most comfortable heels in the whole world. They released these in raffia. Um, so I do currently have them in my basket. And I think I might <laughs> treat myself 
myself to them later on today. I did end up sending back the slip-on ones and the Chloe shoes and the blue dress from the last video, so thank you for your honest feedback. I actually waited for that video to go live so I could see your feedback before making any decisions. I really do listen <laughs> to your guys, your opinions, so please do let me know when I ask for your opinions. I'm not just asking for the sake of it, I genuinely want to know. So anyway, this is the first option. Shoe-wise, actually, shoe shoes does depend on whether I am going to wear the outfit all day or just for the evening. If I'm going to get changed, I'll probably pop some nice high heels on, but if I'm not getting changed throughout the day, then um, I'll probably wear my Valentino Raffia chunky block rock studs all day because they're appropriate for walking around town and also perfect for the evenings. So anyway, this is option number one. Okay, this is option number two. This somehow feels a little bit festive, um, but it is this gorgeous Zimmerman dress. Oh, I forgot the belt is too big. Why have they done that so big? Okay, need a different belt. I've had this dress for a little while and since pre-Charleston, because I got it in a pre-Charleston Netta Porter order and I have not worn it yet, so I need to. I love the colour. Um, I don't know, I feel like I want to wear something a little bit more spring-like. It is such a gorgeous dress, it really is. If the belt fit properly, I don't know why they made it so big. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I do absolutely love it. I'm just not sure it's the one for tonight. Yeah, it feels a bit festive. I think <laughs> I think it's the one I'm going to have to save until Christmas time, going to the theatre, that kind of event. It just feels a little bit dark for a spring dinner. So yeah, not going to go for this one. Let's try on the next, which is very spring-like. So I decided to go with something a little bit more dramatic for this next option. Maybe it's because I've just been watching videos of the Met Gala. I'm watching a video of Hayley Bieber getting ready and the video is sponsored by Grubhub so I'm really intrigued to see how she integrates that um, but at least she actually discloses her <laughs> partnerships which is good to see because so many celebrity YouTubers don't. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this next dress is obviously an option where I would have to take it with me and get changed because I feel like darting around central London and going to meetings. Wearing this would be truly fabulous, but a little bit over the top. I actually think I'm gonna go for this. Um, there are not many times in life when I get to wear something like this. I feel fabulous in this, it fits amazingly. I love when I've got some wonderful Vita Liberata tan on. I love to have this area on display. I think it is just, especially with a little bit of body blur, this is just going to look fantastic. The body blow will really catch the light. Um, in fact, let's just do some now. I may even tie my hair up later and just let the dress do all the talking. Um, so, body blur, you can apply it literally just with your hands like a body lotion or you can apply it with a mitt. And remove your jewellery. And you can see it just gives the most flattering glow to the skin. It is so lovely and natural. And just like makeup, you can build it up if you want to. That looks amazing. I hope this is looking as incredible on camera as it is in real life. Take it over my shoulders. So this has got shea butter and aloe vera in here as well. <laughs> Sorry, cropped off there. So this has got aloe vera and shea butter in here as well. So as well as it just really smoothing out the skin and giving you that flawless look um, and giving you that gorgeous natural glow, it's also hydrating, which is wonderful. If you've got any holidays coming up, um, ooh, camera does not like that angle, then it's an absolute essential to take with you because it just gives you the most amazing glow, especially after a day in the sun. I think I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> I do, I absolutely love it. I feel fabulous in this. And yeah, there's just not many occasions that I can wear something like this. I bought this from Netta Porter uh, three or four weeks ago with kind of summer garden parties in mind. And I feel like a bridal dinner is absolutely perfect looks great with the tan and girls do get dressed up for these wedding edition 
dinners so yeah I think this is the one I will try on one will I no I'm gonna I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna take this with me you won't actually be able to see my shoes under this but I do need some height so I'm gonna take my River Island raffia heels and the old faithful faithful Valentino bag um, so yeah this will be my look for the evening now I need to pop something a little bit more appropriate on for the daytime cloudy and I think it's going to be rainy all day in London which is such a shame. <sighs> okay finally decided what I'm going to wear today. Hair is doing that weird thing where it all curls in weird directions. This is because I curled it yesterday and then I went to sleep but never mind. So I've gone for this really lovely dress from phase eight. They've just got the most gorgeous bits in at the moment. Um, the other white floral one that I wore to the Dalesford course was a close contender for wearing today but this one's actually a little bit thicker I think it's actually the slip underneath look at those gorgeous tanned legs <laughs> yeah I think the slip underneath is thicker it just feels cozy but still spring-like um, the pattern on it makes me think of coral but it is actually um, I think it's twigs but I love it I think it's really really sweet um, a nice length as well and then it is raining so I've just got on some clothes to flat shoes because I probably will end up walking between meetings and then I'll be taking this along with me. I might actually go to the hotel where the dinner is first and leave my case because I have popped my beautiful dress in here, my lovely rattan case from Steamline. Um, it's just really easy as opposed to carrying a heavy bag with me and then I can pop my laptop in here when I've done my work on the train. So yeah, that is me ready to go. I'm going to just do, uh, how long have I got? An hour of work and then head into town. meeting done. Couldn't resist little brows around Selfridges. They have got some gorgeous little straw bags at Prada. I'm in love with these. Oh my goodness. Straw bucket hat. I haven't spotted my pink bag coming back in stock yet but they do have the white version which is stunning. It's always so lovely to look in these little areas and discover some new brands. Some gorgeous pieces my outfit of the day. I'm so happy to have my Dior coat back from the dry cleaners and I have had a lot of compliments on my suitcase so far this morning. That is the most adorable Chanel bag I have ever seen. My goodness, there's so many gorgeous bits in here. Okay, hello darlings, it's a few hours later, looking a little bit shiny. Um, I'm currently parked up at the Bulgari Hotel, doing a little bit of work here ahead of dinner tonight. So I've had finished my meetings for the day, finished with shopping, and the thing about London days is a lot of them come home to an inbox full of emails, so I thought I'd just sit down for an hour and get some work done. Um, so I've ordered myself a lemon and ginger tea and a big glass of water and I'm going to have a productive hour and then um, I think I might be able to nip into one of the rooms here to get changed ahead of the event this evening and I'll catch up with you when I'm getting ready for the dinner. 